Hey, Cashers, Derek here, Big Six Clan. I've already got the birdhouse made up and it's locked up, but let's create a fun, creative way to solve that combination. Let's get started. All right, so the puzzle that we're gonna create to get into this lock is actually really simple and it is a modification of one of the builds from Gadget Talk. It's gonna be an LED decipher code. And I'm gonna kinda of change it up just a little bit because instead of just having just the LEDs themselves and the battery holder and it, get the code from that, I want to make it a little bit more difficult and I'm gonna add a reed switch into it so that you have to run a magnet over the cache to get those LEDs to light up. So the first thing I need to do is get the battery on there and the LEDs in place and then we'll get to the wiring. So let's get that started. All right, so now I've got the battery holder and the LED holes in place and the LEDs are in place as well. And what I have in here is just a whole bunch of wires coming out. And so what I need to do now is to connect all of the negative and positive wires together on the LEDs. And I'm gonna run one wire directly to the battery pack right now. And then between the other, either negative or positive from the battery to the LED, I'm gonna put the reed switch in the middle of that. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. I'm gonna leave it kind of long where the reed switch is gonna go because I need to place it into the wood and there's some little bit of some modifications that I need to do to the wood for that, but we'll get to that after I get all this ran. All right, so it's wired up now, and the wires are kind of loose right now because I don't have the reed switch in the final position because I don't want you to know where it's at. But I have it taped here just for a moment to kind of show you why I'm gonna have to do this little bit of a modification to the wood because not all magnets are created equal. So some magnets are a lot stronger than others. So what I wanted to do, I have several magnets here that I'm gonna show you from some of the simple ones that a lot of people carry in their geocache bags, all the way up to a rare earth magnet. And I wanna show you how sensitive this is on this wood itself. And so I'm gonna turn it here. Now I have the reed switch, it's actually right about here. So I'm gonna start off with the lowest magnet that I have, which is just a simple one of these extendable um, tots that you, a lot of people carry. And I'm gonna run it over here and I should be seeing the lights come on, but there's no lights coming on. So this one is too weak for the thickness of this wood. Now I'm gonna come to another kind of a weaker one. This is kind of a one that you just pick up at a hardware store, just kind of a cheap one. I can come up and that one isn't even picking it up. Oh, there it is, it actually did pick it up. So they did come on. So this one's pretty weak, but it covers kind of a large area and so Let's test it again. So it's up here is where I'm seeing it, right above the yellow one. So I'm gonna take this other magnet one more time and run it through up here and still, still nothing. All right, so now I'm gonna take another tot that a lot of people carry. And this is the one that I generally have with me in my tot bag. Um, I'm gonna come up here and I should be picking it up. And even the one that I normally carry is not picking it up. Now. Of course, you can come into the really rare earth magnet, and this is a really strong one. I can be an inch off from the wood and the LEDs come off of it, or about a half an inch, really, and the, it's coming through. So what I'm gonna do is gonna go in, I'm gonna actually hollow out a portion of where the reed switch is actually gonna go. And so it's gonna be a lot thinner between the outside of the wood and where it actually is. And that way, pretty much about any magnet that you bring, it will be able to connect that switch and light up the LED. So that's what I'm gonna do next.
All right, so now I have the reed switch in place and I got to a point where I can use the weaker magnet that we determined earlier that will actually, when I run it over the reed switch now on the wood, it will light those LEDs up and let me show you. All right, so now that that lit up with the weaker magnet, I know it's gonna pretty much light up with any magnet that you bring out. Now you're probably wondering, well, how are you gonna figure out the code? Well, I think there's, I have two goals with doing these builds. One is to help those to get ideas to create really cool creative and gadget caches. The second is to get people to read the description page because the colors of the LEDs will correspond to the number that are in the description page. So they'll have to go and take the color blue or yellow or green or whatever the color is and see what that num that color corresponds to in the description. So that's that's really great. So that's that's how they're going to do that. Now the other thing that I want to mention is that all the links are in the description down below. That's from the lock to the LEDs to the reed switch, even to the battery holder. All those are affiliate links down in the description. So if you get one of those, hey, it helps the channel out and I really do appreciate it. Now remember, I got this kind of this idea and this is a modification of a build that we've done on Gadget Talk. So I hope you really enjoyed this. Leave me a comment down below and let me know uh, what you thought of this build. But hey, don't go anywhere. Go check out another one of these videos just right over here and find the story behind the cache.